I'm Austin. I'm Trace. And this is Pure Cycles Underrated Routes. Where are we going today? We're going to a waterfall today. Yeah, a waterfall. We are out here in beautiful Altadena, California. We got NASA JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in the background. And uh, we're about to take you on an underrated route. And uh, Trace is going to tell you what we're doing. Yeah, so we just parked at JPL. Uh, the trail's just a quick out and back on the Arroyo Trail. Goes up to a dam, which is the Brown Mountain Dam. Uh, definitely some beautiful fall colors right now, which is why we like riding it. Uh, there's stream crossings about uh, probably like two miles into it. And then it starts to get more and more stream crossings and more and more like rockier, but for the most part, it's a pretty steady, pretty steady out and back. Yeah. So uh, pretty killer trail and uh, looking forward to showing you how awesome it actually is. Alrighty, so we are, we're heading down the road, just left the parking lot area, and uh, we got about a mile or so of pavement, some nice flat, slightly uphill sections, and it's just beautiful. We're just cruising into the canyon, getting into nature. Also a thing to note, it's a great place to escape to on a really hot day in LA, because say about 70% of the canyon that we're about to go into is shaded during a sunny day. So yeah, it's pretty much covered. It's a little chilly actually right now on this fall November morning here. Yeah, chilly uh, 63 degrees. But it's a <laughs> nice Friday morning. This is a heavily trafficked area though too. Yeah. So like there's a lot of dogs on leashes or supposed to be at least. They're Sometimes not. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't blame dog owners for wanting to let their dogs run free. No. But uh, but yeah, you got to watch out for dogs and runners and just and hikers. You got to be courteous, share the trail. There's a lot of other mountain bikers out here too. And a lot of mountain bikers. Yeah. Look at this. But they got fun little side trail stuff. Yeah, you got fun little side trail like that. And look, we got the blessing <laughs> this morning. He opened the gate. Look at that. <laughs> morning. Morning. Right now, I'm currently riding the new Pure Cycles Adventure Apex. We got some 650 B wheels on there and some 2.0, 27.5 by 2.0 tires, so we're sitting flush. Got mega grip. From the parking lot, it's about a mile yeah. up the broken up pavement, up to the start of the dirt. But uh, kind of starts to break up a little more. You really can't complain when you're biking on this pavement. It's a nice warm up, little precursor starter before we get to the fun stuff. The already you can see, you know, we're only like six minutes into the ride and we're already back in this shaded canyon. Slightly colder, but slightly <laughs> more beautiful. So we are entering the Gold Mesa campground. We're about two miles in, so we're halfway there, but uh, this is a great place to come and camp. If you're just looking for an easy bike or hike in, two miles in, you got this beautiful campground in the Arroyo down here in the canyon and yeah. All right. Good morning, nice hat, go Eagles. Really kind of opens up after the campground. Perfect dirt. Go a little bridge. Oh, Do a beeline. Trace is gonna take the beeline. Woo! Yeehaw! Nice and flowy. It's always this little rock drop though. Huh. Read it. Almost went into the log. <laughs> Pre crossing number five. Five, six. 
it's kind of a landmark up here. Definitely. One of my favorite spots to kind of be like, where are you at? What, what part of the trail? I'm at the blue wheelbarrow. This is the tech part we're coming into. Very tech, so. We'll try to clear it. Ooh. Oh man. Oh man. I almost OT bead. I'm gonna have to bleep that out. Just to give you a little view of what we just came through. It was pretty gnarly. Very technical little rock pop up. But that was definitely the most tech creek crossing. But on a scale of like the most tech features on this trail, that's probably number two. The most technical section, then we got an audience, so we can't mess up. <laughs> oh. oh, no way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna crash. <laughs> Let's go. A little tough through there. A little tough. Come Gonna on. hike a bike this section. A couple hike a bike parts. Almost cleaned it, but not really. But I'll take the A for effort. Oh, blast it. Oh, and now I'm officially soaked. Another creek crossing. Coming up to Paul Little. Paul Little picnic area. This beautiful open space right up ahead. There we go. All right. Paul Little. Paul Little picnic area. We are almost to the waterfall, the dam. We're so close, you can almost hear it. Wet, squeaky brakes. Last little flowy part to the dam. Yeah, sir. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of a trail block here. Oh, how heavy is this? Oh, it's heavy as hell. Oh my God. <sighs> Roll it up to the waterfall. Brown Mountain Dam, baby. All right, we're leaving the dam and we're starting to cruise back down, which is mostly downhill. Next section. Woo! Very slippery. Woo. Did not get it. Shifting. 
Beeline. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, Rocky. Rocking straight into the creek crossing. Into a sandy loose corner. Bridge crossing. Beautiful. Riders up. Howdy. Howdy. It's going about 18 right now. Pretty quick through this section. Oh yeah! Austin taking the jump trail. And it basically merges right back up. Ooh. It's really flowy through here, guys. It's amazing. Oh, be live. Uh, nice wide open, super fast part, nice little wheelie popping part. Little tabletop, little jump. Nice little beeline through there. First one. Right here. Oh, yeah. Back here at the campground. Back to the campsite. Killer little downhill through there. <laughs> Definitely a killer downhill. Flowy, rocky, jumpy. Endless flow. You will have, I'm telling you, you guys will have a blast coming out here. It is such a great ride. I like the way the steel frame feels through here. It holds through the really surfy, sandy stuff well. The steel just soaks it all up. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Right. That last creek crossing kind of a nice little splash to end you before you get back to the car. And we are back down on the pavement. Ripping. Oh, 
<laughs> well, we hope you all enjoyed this episode of Underrated Routes. Austin and I uh, sure love this little backyard area of ours. It's pretty close to our work, you know, it's easy to get to from the city and it's just kind of that perfect little getaway into some nature. Join us next time as we take you a little bit deeper inside of some underrated routes in Los Angeles. Make sure to subscribe so you can check them all out. Thank you.